Hello, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I have attempted to make this video three times. Three times now. Three. Three times. <laughs> I have a tendency to keep screwing it up. Um, I want to talk about my interactions with people over the last almost eight years. Three more months will be eight years that I've had this channel, five years that I've had my dentures versus food channel, and I have to, I have to talk about adhesive. The reason there are so many brands of adhesive and so many companies making adhesive is because it really secures your dentures. Now, the one thing I can't stand is the false advertising that adhesive does. I shouldn't say false advertising because that's not accurate. Because if you have really well-fitting dentures and you have a really deep bottom denture, then yes, when they say it'll hold all day, they're right. But that's a minority of the people that wear dentures. Most people that wear dentures don't have a good enough palate in the roof of their mouth or tall enough walls. They don't get good enough suction on their denture. Um, and they have really shallow, shallow lower dentures. They're not going to be able to go adhesive free. And I understand that. So I have never in any of my videos said everybody can go adhesive free no matter what, as long as you practice. No, I understand. So it took me a long time to break away from adhesive, to be able to function, to be able to speak, to be able to sing, to be able to whistle to be able to eat all the things that I eat without adhesive in my dentures. That took a lot of practice. Let me ask you something. If you saw somebody walking on broken glass with bare feet, would you just automatically assume you could do that? Seeing somebody walking on broken glass with bare feet and not cutting up their feet is the same as people seeing me eating food and functioning and talking and getting along with my dentures without adhesive. I would never want somebody to just assume they could do the same thing. And I've never expected anyone to be able to just throw away adhesive and be able to wear their dentures without adhesive. So I have said in several videos that I believe that about 50% of people that are using adhesive now could actually get away from adhesive with enough practice but it's not gonna happen overnight. It takes time, practice, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of frustration, a lot of aggravation. It just takes time. You're not just gonna suddenly throw adhesive in the trash and never use it again. That's not gonna happen. I don't care who you are. And anybody that tells you that can happen is full of it. So here's what I know. I know that I'm going to pull over here because I got to go to the bank. So I know that for a fact. <laughs> you don't need to see my banking interaction. I'm just going to pull over here on the side of the road for a second. In fact, I think I'll pull up here and pull over on the side of the road. That'll be more good. -er. Um, so I know for a fact that, you know, you're not just going to throw adhesive in the trash and never use it again. And 
it's going to take practice to get away from using adhesive. It's going to take time, it's going to take practice. I believe in my heart of hearts, I believe that about 50% of people that are using adhesive right now could, in theory, get away from adhesive with enough practice. But it takes time. So going back to the barefoot on glass scenario, if you saw somebody walking on glass with bare feet and it wasn't hurting their feet and they just told you, look, dude, all you got to do is take your shoes off and your socks off and walk on the glass, you'll be fine. Would you believe them? I was waiting for an answer. The answer is no, you know better. You know for a fact that you've been wearing shoes your whole life. You're not just gonna take your shoes and socks off and walk on broken glass. You know that you would have to start by, you know, walking in your yard barefoot and then maybe walking on some you know, semi-rough concrete, barefoot. And then working your way to some dirt with some rocks in it. And then working your way up to gravel. And then, you know, maybe pavement, rough pavement. And then working your way up to walking on gravel. Uh, things like that. Before you could walk on broken glass without shoes you know in your mind that's true. You would have to toughen up your feet over time, practicing a little here and a little there and working on toughening up your feet over time. Just like you're not going to be able to take your dentures out and eat corn chips and, and Oreo cookies and all the stuff that I eat without my teeth without starting off with something a little easier and toughening up your gums and working your way up. It's the same way with adhesive. In order to get away from adhesive, you need to practice. And not everybody's going to just throw adhesive away. Some people are going to... Some people are going to learn how to function with their dentures until they eat and then they're going to want to use a little adhesive when they eat. And that's perfectly fine. <laughs> adhesive gives us an extremely secure feeling. The confidence to know that if we sneeze, our dentures aren't going to fly out of our mouth and shatter on the concrete. Adhesive is a wonderful thing. It's nothing to be ashamed of that you have to use adhesive. The point I'm trying to make in this video is I've had so many comments of people saying, I have tried and tried and tried to get away from adhesive. I just can't do it. That's fine. That is nothing to be ashamed of. Um, you know, people have said, I went to my doctor and got a reline done hoping I could get away from adhesive and I still need adhesive. That's fine. You don't need nearly as much adhesive. I guarantee you that. And that's fine. I want people to quit shaming. I've seen so many videos of people that, that don't need adhesive that are shaming people that do. Trying to convince them that everybody can get away from adhesive. They're just not willing to try. That's bullshit. Getting away from adhesive depends on your denture, your dentures. Most people with a really shallow lower denture like mine need adhesive. Now I will say that because I have very tall walls and a very tall, nicely rounded palate, I get lots of suction on this denture. And right now I don't have denture fit in it. So, just to prove a point.
There's no denture fit in that denture. I forgot I have a mic on over here. Right now I'm not using denture fit. I haven't for a couple of weeks now. And there's a reason for that. Is because I need to desensitize my gums and the roof of my mouth. Denture fit is fantastic. I love it. For me, I've said it before, it provides just that tiniest little bit of cushion. But again, I'm trying to desensitize my, I have a really sensitive mouth. And the longer I can go without denture fit in my denture, the, the more I desensitize my mouth. So I have been, every three months when it's time to replace the denture fit, I take it out and I go a couple weeks without it. And then I'll go ahead and put it back in the denture and I'll wear the denture for three months and then I'll take the denture out and I'll, you know, the denture fit out of the denture and I'll wear it for a few months without, or a few weeks without it. And, you know, like I said, with adhesive, it takes time and practice. I'm not just going to be able to throw the denture fit in the trash and not use it. I need that for that tiny little bit of cushion to keep my dentures from hurting, my, my upper denture from hurting my mouth so bad. I better get in line here because uh, it's the first of the month and lots of people are getting ready to, are coming to the bank to cash checks and stuff and it's uh, 5.30 in the evening. I think they close the drive through at 6. So I better get in line. So that's what I wanted to talk about today was the, the fact that, you know, just like me with denture fit, I can't just stop using it or I can only wear my denture about six hours a day, my upper denture. Um, even though I don't need denture fit for the cushion of the denture, I do need it for, I mean, I don't need it for the suction on the denture. I do need it for the cushion. So in order for me to just, you know, to get away from it, I, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to get away from it. It's a wonderful product and it really provides me with that cushion to wear my denture 16 hours a day, which is fantastic. But I'm, you know, I need to desensitize my mouth. So every three months when I replace the denture fit, I need to go as long as I can without it just to build up that toughness in my mouth and try to desensitize my mouth a little bit. That's going to benefit me in more ways than one. So I need to do what I need to do. And it's the same with adhesive. If you're trying to get away from adhesive, you need to practice a little bit every day. Believe it or not, if you practice something for 18 minutes a day, just 18 minutes, that's not very long. We waste more time than that sitting on the toilet. We waste more time than that arguing with somebody that's a moot point. We waste more than 18 minutes a day watching stupid TikTok videos or YouTube shorts or whatever. We, we spend, we waste way more than 18 minutes a day on unproductive stuff. So if you just practice something for 18 minutes a day, by the end of 12 months, you have practiced that particular thing for a hundred hours. Now imagine when you put that together, imagine what you can learn if you devoted a hundred hours to that. You could learn a lot. So 18 minutes a day. That's it, my friends. I got to go. I'm pulling up to the uh, thing here. And you don't need to hear all this. So I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.